Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We got a the four win streak going, it's something. This Eden run could make me the happiest man in the world or the saddest. Poop, x-ray goggles, don't even need to look. WQ39. 39, not 3R. You ding dong. YTP4. Death card as well. Eh, death card's an all right start. Uh, I, I like it. We kind of look like the um, the elf from the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer creepy stop-motion uh, animated. Well, this is not animated, but stop-motion uh, Christmas special. We start with one HP, which is admittedly horrifying. However, not a terrible start. Being able to go to secret rooms is kind of a nice touch. I wish we had been able to blow up the area that would allow us to get in there, but whatever. Let's see what's in our item room. Hopefully an HP upgrade of some kind. What do I prefer? Do I prefer the poop? Or do I prefer telepathy for dummies? I think they're both quite terrible, but the poop at least has a chance to give us money, so I think I'll go with that. Now the death card is probably not gonna help us against a boss, but the one exception might be if we fight the haunt right now. Uh, you know what, we shouldn't fight the boss yet because there's a chance we could find a, uh, a shop or, well, yes, of course, there's a 100% chance we could find a shop. We could also find a library. The library could give us Book of Revelations. We gotta try. So I'm not gonna open this until I know if it's, like, if there's a second. Ooh, excellent. I'm not gonna open this uh, key room until I know if there's a second key room on the floor. I doubt it, but it is a theoretical possibility. And if we could get Book of Revelations, I would replace the poop with Book of Revelations in a heartbeat. I should probably pick up and put down Telepathy for Dummies just so it has a lower chance of spawning in a shop. But apart from that, this has been a pretty good start here. Basically, as a result of our starting item, we got two Spirit Hearts, which allowed us to, uh, you know, well, basically anything from this point onwards is just kind of gravy, isn't it? In terms of what we get from our uh, X-ray goggles, that is. I do think poop is probably going to be better. And we have a nice little uh, Haunt Protector here. If we fight the Haunt, we can use... That's pin for now. But if we fight the Haunt on the next floor, we can use this Death Card to kill the Wave with the two ghosts. And that will probably make my life substantially easier, because that's normally where the vast majority of my damage... Well, not the vast majority, but that's oftentimes where I end up taking damage against the Haunt. Now, admittedly, our damage is not that stellar right off the bat, but I do have a little bit of, you know, Binding of Isaac Rebirth Highway Blindness, because I was doing so much damage on the last run. Brimstone, Magic Mushroom, all that kind of nonsense. Tiny Planet made it look cool. I'm not sure if it actually gave us more damage, but it is, you know, it's it's an element of the winning team anyway. We're gonna have to take a little bit of time to get back to that level. If you could pop up and just die, like right here, that would be great, thank you. Stem Cells is like a, it's your dad's gift for you for Christmas when you turn 18. You know, your dad's not gonna get you like a Tiger Electronics handheld game system or something like that. Your dad's gonna be like, well, hey Slugger, you're a man now. You know, here's $500, put it in your retirement plan or something like that. That's what Stem Cells is, it's not something uh, that's really gonna blow the doors off here, but at the same time, you know, it's something we need to have. Or when she leaves our ass, she's gonna leave with half, apparently. That's what uh, my idol, Kanye West, told me at least. Explode! Explode! Ah, okay. Well, you know what? I'm not that worried about that tinted rock, to be honest with you. I would love to explode it, but if we don't get the opportunity to explode it, we don't get the opportunity to explode it. Very, very happy that we had the opportunity to use our death card effectively here. Could have very easily taken damage. I hate doing this, but I'm going to. Man. We have not had good luck with pills recently. That's just the dang truth. Not the dank truth. Use of dank is up like 80% in 2015 already. Let's just cool it on the dank, alright? I know the context in which it is primarily used. You don't need to educate me on that. I'm not 100 years old quite yet. I'm getting there, hopefully. God willing, you know, it's a privilege to grow old, man. Everyone's always afraid of growing old. You shouldn't be afraid of growing old, man. You should be afraid of dying young. That's that's some scary shit right there. Growing old? You know, everybody should have the opportunity to do that. Dad's key, so we will take this. Dad's key? I saw some... Ah, good. I saw some conjecture on Twitter today, actually, weirdly enough. Did I just fart? One of those was bad gas? I thought they were both the same color there. Weird. Um, saw some conjecture on Twitter today that Dad's key opens up the boss rush room. If so, I wonder if that could open up the boss rush room so we could actually just leave the boss rush room. I doubt it, but either way, this does open up Mega Satan. Beyond that, it saves me some keys. You know, beyond that, 
Let's be honest, it was either that or the poop, so I'm kind of okay with our situation. Yes, we could use it to open up our... Uh, our, uh, shop, but what's the point? We don't have any money yet. I think we should just wait on that and maybe use it after our boss fight to open up a deal with the devil if we don't otherwise get one, but I don't know if it does guarantee you a deal with the devil. I feel like I would have heard more about that, but maybe it's because Dad's key doesn't show up all that often. I don't care about keeping this item to the late game. Okay, so we just teleported to our deal with the devil. I am gonna... I used it. You know, you don't need me to tell you that I'm gonna use it. I used it. I don't think we're gonna stick with uh, Guppy's paw. We'll take Dad's head or Dad's key with us just in case. But now that means uh, because we're in permanent Polaroid invincibility, all of our deals will be for spirit hearts. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know, but it does make it so that uh, you know, Book of Revelations is a little bit not Book of Revelations. Um, Horror Babylon is better. I always get those two confused, and it bums me out, man. Just because they have an of in the middle, it's not necessary. You know, they're two very different items. I don't get Lawrence of Arabia and Anne of Green Gables confused. Let's do this. It is Fistula. Another uh, somewhat rare boss for this floor, although at some point I think I lose the ability to say it's a rare boss when it shows up, you know, twice in eight runs or something like that. It's a quarter of the runs, man. Now there is, this is probably where I'd start to consider that we're in the danger zone on this Fistula fight. Fistula fight relatively easy, but it does have a danger zone. I'd much rather just be fighting Pin again. How do we get out of the danger zone? Start, yep, yeah, that's it right there. Start playing a little bit smarter. Stop thinking Prague Police, start thinking PlayStation. You know what? Fistula is probably one of the bosses I'm most likely to take damage against on the first floor, now that I think about it. I would maybe rather fight Gurglings than fight Fistula, depending on the damage and whatnot we have here. Um, look, there's value in, in not taking Dad's Key and taking Guppy's Paw instead, but let's mix it up. Let's be a little tricky. It's looking like we will not have uh, even the potentiality of getting a Book of Revelations on this one. So let's not sweat Cuba meat bullshit. It's all right. On ice, all right. Now, if we could just get into the secret room and maybe, like, the one thing I'm lacking on this run right now is, is definitely damage. We haven't had any kind of damage improvers thus far. This is uh, our shop for free. I will get rid of Dad's Key for Red Candle as much as that's going to bum some people out because Dad's Key does give us the Mega Satan chance. I mean, we could just... Well, I guess we can't do deals with the Angel at this point, but yeah, you, you get the idea. This is an important run for me because I am I'm starting to get into the idea of doing a streak again. Once we get up to four or five wins somewhere in there, that's important. And in particular, this run is big because it's the linking run. You know, we got through Eve, Samson, Azazel's pretty easy, we got through Lazarus, not very pleased with myself there, uh, the characters that some people might consider kind of annoying, except for Azazel, uh, and you know, some people like Eve and Samson, but I, I, don't, I don't think many people would argue that, um, you know, Isaac is more difficult than Eve or something like that, so, if we can do this run, we stand a pretty good chance of extending our streak even longer because we're going to be playing Isaac next anyway. Little Chub is not a damage upgrade. We don't need a damage upgrade if we can just get Red Candle. Which it seems inc increasingly likely that we will as we pick up, you know, penny by penny here. But still, I would like the opportunity to get it. I don't love the idea of sacrificing... Oh, well. I really don't love the idea of sacrificing a, sp a full Spirit Heart to get into this curse room now. I will probably do it, but I won't do it yet. My thinking being... Uh, Again, we could get a deal with the devil. If we get a deal with the devil, I would much rather have the opportunity to actually uh, take the deal with the devil without it literally killing me. Could get nine lives, though. You never know. Nine lives happens on occasion. Or on every run, depending on who you ask. <laughs> Has happened to me a lot lately. Did it happen on the... What was the last run? We were Lazarus on the last run? Yeah, we did get nine lives just randomly in the curse room, didn't we? That's been happening a lot lately. Hey, if we're going back into Guppy meta, I appreciate that. You know, the game, for me, has... Uh, it's got ebbs and flows. I don't know which which is the good one. Ebbs or flows. Whichever one is the good one, I'm starting to feel like we're slipping back into that, which is, is good. I appreciate it. Little Chad might seem worthless to us, and that's because, for now, it literally is. I hate that this guy is the fastest silkworm in the West. There we go. Dad's key not immediately useful for us in the meantime here, but that's all right. The creep is so slow to, 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 to blah, blah, blah. so slow to dissipate here. 
I oftentimes take damage against these guys just from being impatient, which is not a good excuse. You're not going to give me two more cents? Like, this has got to be some kind of record for bullshittery here, but we might be able to snag a deal with the devil just randomly by, uh, well, not randomly, the exact opposite, just by methodically using dad's key after we kill the boss? I don't know, before? We'll be able to test it, that's for sure. Okay. One cent away from red candle, and that's going to do it right there. There's red candle for us. Save us a little bit of time on backtracking. I don't think I'm going to go back and pick it up just yet, but I kind of overestimated how short the floor was, or I I underestimated how big the floor was, and it's looking like it's going to take us longer than I would like to get in it. To, to get everything done, I guess I should say. I mean, I do want to open that. But I wanted to see our second secret room as well. I think we're going to be a little slow for boss rush, but it is a theoretical possibility. So... Let's go pick up the spirit. No, we're not picking up the spirit art. Let's go pick up uh, red candle. We'll have four and a half HP, unless we walk on some spikes, which is well within the realm of possibility. Uh, then we'll go fight the boss. Presumably, take no damage. If we take no damage in the process, there we can get a deal with the devil. Oh, we won't have. Pardon me, we won't have Dad's key to help us out. Alright, well, we'll, you know, we'll cross it as it comes. Hey, this is perfect. Remember when I said I'd rather fight gurglings? Well, games like put your money where your mouth is, motherfucker. And here we are. It, it does pay to use Red Candle whenever possible. Even if it seems like enemies are not in the vicinity of it. If we put the fires on the ground, it's going to be difficult for them to get out of the situation without getting hit. Oh, I'm an idiot. We got no deal with the devil, but we got matchbook. As much as I think maybe we could use dad's key to open a deal with the devil here. Maybe we'll try it, I guess. But first I'm going to open this up. We're going to be very slow, but that's okay. Extra bombs, I don't mind. Probably the worst fire I've ever shot in the game. Luckily it reached... Excuse me? Luckily it recharges extremely quickly. Unfortunately, uh, enemies appear to be completely immune to it. How this uh, human popcorn there was better at dodging than I am. Now, I'm not saying I'm some kind of dodging genius here, but that was some incredible play. I gotta check that one out in slow mo. Accent on the omo. It, doesn't, it came across as kind of offensive. I was just making a shmo yo yo reference. Shmo yo ho. Shmo yo ho. Shmo -yo -ho. Sorry. Please pop up. I've made a mistake. Thank you. All right, let's let's put this myth to to bed, or let's uh, wake this myth up and party all fucking night. Is Dad's key gonna be able to open up a deal with the devil for me? Place your bets. I'm saying no, but we're gonna learn one way or the other. And if we can just get two more cents, I mean, I know we could blow up our donation machine. It might be nice though to be able to pick up uh, the you know spirit heart in there. I don't think we need it though, especially with red candle helping out. Oh! I don't see a deal with the devil. Random Twitter user, you're a goddamn liar! That's all I'm trying to say. People get up in my face, hey! Hey, why didn't you go to that deal with the devil after the womb fight? Well, it's after the womb fight against um, Mom's heart, it's always just a trip down a shoal. Oh! Sorry, I didn't know that, but yet I'm still yelling for some reason. No, it's okay, don't worry about it. Just people, lay, you know. Northern Line, why didn't you use Dad's key to get into the Devil Room? Apparently, I've got a... Oh, I don't like that. Apparently, I've got a very good excuse. It doesn't effing work. Twelve minutes through the third floor. This is incredibly slow, but it's good. We're in a very good situation with Red Candle. Probably close... To, oh, Guppy's head. Close to a guaranteed deal with the Devil. On this floor. If not a guaranteed... Excuse me? You just squeeze me against the wall there? Who do you think you are? Xenia on a top? I wish. Now. Now, keep coming this way. Yeah. Oh, he turned at the fire. I'm going to be sticking with, uh, I'm going to be sticking with Red Candle because our damage sucks right now. So, Red Candle is a nice little crutch that we can rely on until, uh, things get better for us. Full health. Good to know that it's in the rotation, at least. Otherwise, not that meaningful. Oh, I botched that one miserably. So, we've got to, this floor is all about, like, damage reduction, you know? We gotta keep our HP as high as is humanly possible. We got one third of the guppy items. Now all we need is to get uh, 
nine lives. It'll give us some extra HP, and then we'll pick up, uh, you know, a little... Oh, wait, no, we had Guppy's Paw already, too. We got two-thirds of the Guppy items. We're only one away. All right, this... It is getting a little ridiculous how likely Guppy has become uh, recently. I don't think it's due to any recent changes in the game, though. I think it's just, you know... Standard deviation and stuff like that. Even though I've taken a shitload of damage here and have played like an idiot, uh, this room is still worth it for the guppy's head pickup. And we're gonna have to use our own keys now, so, you know, getting keys doesn't feel so bad either. How did you not blow yourself up there? If that had been me, I would be a quivering pile of spirit hearts right now. Bad trip. Telepills. Uh, okay, I mean, I'm happy. We'll have to go back. But, uh, picking up infamy is nice. Doesn't block that explosion, unfortunately. That's on me, though. So, what would be really interesting is if we ended up having the opportunity with our current HP to pick up Guppy's Collar. You can probably run the math for yourself as to why that's particularly interesting. Uh, but basically it would give us a- it would kill us, but give us a 50% chance to respawn. Why take that risk? Well, if we respawned, we would be Guppy. If we didn't, we would be dead, though. It's a bit of a tricky call. With the amount of keys that we have, though, I would expect that uh, decent chance we can find ourselves buying a Spirit Heart in the Secret Room. If not, just finding a... Wow, just completely threaded the needle on that one. If not, just finding a Tinted Rock or something like that. At this point, I don't think anyone would blame me for, like, really, you know, digging into this Guppy strategy with both fucking... Both teeth? What is that? Both hands. Because, um... We have no other damage. We're on the fourth floor and we haven't picked up any... Freaking damage upgrades. Red Candle, if, if Red Candle hadn't showed up, this is actually a floor where I would be like, man, we are kind of in a concerning position, unfortunately. But as of right now, Red Candle is keeping us alive long enough uh, that we can, you know, justifiably have a good chance of winning, maybe speed up. And Bad Trip will take with us just in case. Just in case. Again, almost some terrible damage there. Maybe we've had one tears up? I'm not sure. But one thing is for sure. Good lord, please give me a uh, damage upgrade of almost any type. Like, just sign me up. If it takes three floors, I don't care. Just let me know that I'm going to get one so I can, you know, end this period of kind of, not suffering, but uh, uncertainty. That's what I'm trying to get at there. How far can Red Candle take us if it has to take us as far as it possibly can? We could probably make it work until the just after the mom fight if we had to could get a black market here probably can't afford anything in it let's see I believe oh that's just a trip down to the next floor so no black market um, I believe in you rest if you rest in that uh, room as blue baby it takes you back to three spirit hearts you might be thinking do it I mean there's no reason for me not to do it so I'll probably do it but um, I think as other characters, that does not work, unfortunately. If Oh, that's a Tinted Rock anyway here. If it does, though, I would like to take advantage of it. Death card. Beats Bad Trip, beats Bad Trip. Well, now we'll never know if it actually works for us. So let's move along first, and we'll come back if we need to. How did I miss this? Machine Gun Jubblies! <laughs> How did I miss those, baby? That is the I know my Austin Powers impression and my English accent in general. I know there's more than one English accent, by the way, but... Um, they're, they're, it's very bad. Let's be honest. I'll own up to it. All the good Canadian English accent was taken by uh, Mike Myers to do Austin Powers. Oh, you didn't know Mike Myers was Canadian? Of course we could get up to some funky stuff. Uh, if we took Broken Remote and Red Candle, we could teleport as much as we wanted. I don't think that's really that important for us. I would rather just have, you know, the luxury to be able to actually, like, choose where I'm going and, and do damage and not constantly teleport out of a room, but that's that's up to you. Uh, sadly, nothing really that I was hoping for there, but we can get broken stopwatch. I already fought one chub here. I'm not scared of fighting a second. Especially a slower version. Works. Oh, yeah, right through the fire, dog. I appreciate it. Chase me down. That was not very smart on my part. That was also not very smart on my part, but the dodge ended up working, so who's the loser now? Chase me. Chase me. Chase me. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm hoping for right there. All right. Please. HP. Latch key, but no deal with the devil. I think we just leave rather than buying broken stopwatch. Let's go. 
I don't think we're gonna... I'm not entertaining too much of the possibility that we can make it to our boss rush room. Necropolis 1 only. 17 minutes is very unlikely. Need like two Emperor cards in quick succession. And then I would have to fight the boss rush room, which I don't really relish the thought of doing. I'm trying to come down here quickly just to see if maybe there was a secret room that bordered our curse room. Unfortunately, there is not. Which means that we're going to have to eat shit if we want to go into that curse room and try to become Guppy. Which I think I'm going to do. Yeah, now you wish you took Broken Remote, Red Candle, don't you? Not really, actually. Still not really. Okay. Give me some Spirit Arts back. Nope. And some spiders. That's alright. You know, it's kind of what you expect. You gotta hope for the best, prepare for the worst. This could give us a guppy item. It has happened. It happened on the last run, right? Yeah. Takes us to 15 cents. Give us some red chests in here, please. Uh, well. I would like to open that one as well. It's not like we missed our chance. You know, all other things being equal, those chests are gonna pay out equally, right? But... It's like the, that's like the mathematical way of saying it is what it is. Well, if it's equal, it's equal. It's equally meaningless is what it is. Not the best tier I've ever fired there. I can't believe we still have not picked up like any tier damage modifiers. Not even just like a like a multiplier, just a modifier like like more. <laughs> like give me more damage, please. I can't take this purgatory anymore. I would not recommend playing the seed as of right now, but it could turn around. Basically, fuck this room. And maybe a library? No. Blue candle. Well, uh, what's better? Blue candle, red candle? I kind of feel that they're, like, pretty similar. I got extremely lucky to not take damage there. Uh, I don't think they have differences in recharge time. I knew the difference at one point. It's like, red candle blocks your own tears from hitting blue candle like it goes away in time instead of going away after being hit a certain amount of time or something like that but it's a very subtle difference what I'm trying to get at is basically that I, I feel like I would rather just buy consumables in there or the blank card if we end up getting like blank card hierophant or something like that but I really I almost can't afford to get rid of red candle right now even if we did get blank card hierophant because okay telepills lovely even if we did get blank card here, Afon, I don't know if I can afford to take it. I guess I've got to try to see if we can get some more spirit arts first, so... Because I think I might not be able to take a deal with the devil, so... Let's just be good about this, hopefully. Yeah, see, like, these tears we can extinguish with our... Or these fires we can extinguish with our own tears. I don't think you... I don't know if you can do that with Blue Candle. How am I messing these shots up so badly, consistently? People asking themselves the same thing. Oh my god. Is this really going to be the nightmare room? I could just teleport out. Do you see that fly? This. Oh my god. Work with me. There we go. I can't believe we didn't blow up that bomb fly. There we go. All is forgiven except I still took damage. I don't like that room. At all. We've been to our... We have not been to our item room. Let's make that happen. I don't like this run... Apparently, I'm just going to place a bomb there. In case you were wondering. Uh, I'm not liking this run very much at all. With one extra bomb, we should probably... I mean, Tinted Rock would be nice if I could see one. But in reality... Our most conceivably possibly good outcome is probably... That's... Uh, you know... Stone chest, whatever you want to call it. I don't see tinted rocks there. Good shots, except completely not. Oh man, oh my god, we could actually lose this run right here. I'm getting, this is what happens on low damage runs. I just get frustrated, it's my own fault. Don't get frustrated, I mean it's easy to say, it's hard to do. Don't get frustrated, okay, this is your time to shine, buddy. We got rusted key, so I'm willing to play you like a damn fiddle. I'll go down to like one. No! No! Okay, well that's pretty good actually. Um, you know, Ankh pickup. Not the most, am eh, not the most amazing thing in the world, but uh, it helps. If I die, I can come back. That's that's pretty meaningful. There we go. I'm well. We're also Lazarus, right? No, we're Eden. Oh, thank God we picked that up then. 
Why go back to this room? This room sucks. We're still doing no damage. Now we're Blue Baby. Would I rather be doing no damage as Blue Baby or no damage as Eden? Yes. Actually, the answer to that question is no. I would rather just not be. So we're going to go fight in this room over here in the hopes that this gives us a guppy item. It's a theoretical possibility. Well, it paid out nicely. I appreciate it when you guys walk into the fire. It makes my life a lot easier. But I can't believe we're five floors deep and I've still picked up nothing that gives me more damage. I'm going to stop being so indignant about it. Eventually. But being indignant about it is probably what's going to, you know... Basically, I'm, I'm being mean to the game so that the game will give me a guppy item on our next... Uh, on our next deal with the devil. For now, we're actually in an okay position because I, I know I'm missing the second secret room, by the way. But we can go back and we can um, buy the spirit heart. And if I don't take damage against the boss, much damage at least, then there should be a good chance that I uh, get a deal with the devil. Although I took red heart damage there. No, no, I didn't take red heart damage there because I got permanent Polaroid invincibility. That's right. Or not permanent Polaroid invincibility, but I played Guppy's Paw earlier. All the way to get to 100% spirit hearts. That's what I'm trying to say. Loki. Loki is a, a relatively easy boss. And we can do stuff like that just to make the fight a little bit easier. Ah, when he gets up against the wall, that's perfect for Red Candle. He's going to be dead very soon. We did get a deal with the devil. We got a range upgrade. Don't even start with me. What about this? What about this? No small rock, but the spirit heart's nice. No guppy item. We gotta take the mark. The mark doesn't give us enough to take um, Dark Bum and live. I understand the value of Dark Bum, don't get me wrong. At the same time, I hope you understand that if I didn't get more damage, I was gonna die due to my own kind of frustration. So it's important for me to have gotten a little extra damage in order to actually be able to... Uh, you know, feel a little bit more confident in the abilities of this run long term. Now, that's not to say we're, uh, you know, sitting pretty now that we got the mark. This is the point of the game where I'd rather be like, oh, the mark. That's pretty good. We'll take it. You know, it really helps out our, our existing damage. Unfortunately, we're not in that position. Tell me I get him. Nope. Oh, maybe. He walked through it on the way back. Um... Unfortunately, in our current position, that's not the position we're in. So we're going to have to continue hoping for, for something good on this floor. Even the game has gotten quiet. It's just like there's nothing happening, man. But this is this is a huge run. or Yeah, I mean, in general, this run is pretty huge because it's going to link together the difficult characters, the, the slightly more difficult characters anyway, with the, the easier characters. That's not to say that I'm guaranteed to continue the streak if we win here. Far from it. But it means that I've probably got the best chance. I've got a better chance. Bad trip, man. What is up with this pill rotation? One thing's for sure, the game's not being kind here, but... I do appreciate runs like this, you know? I, I kind of like it when the game screws me over a little bit. Makes you work for it. One more left. That's why I didn't want to use a uh, red candle there. Good stuff. Bombs are dropping like crazy. I regret my decision. <laughs> okay, we made it out of there somewhat safely. And there's the value of Red Candle right there in uh, the fire sticking around and actually dealing damage to the laser bullet flies that could otherwise be kind of annoying. Come on, we gotta find a terminal soon. I'm trapped. Thank God that gurgling died. Chase me down, baby. Good stuff. We'll exit, re-enter. Might not save us that much time in the whole scheme of things, but at least I keep moving. Feels like it's productive then. <sighs> yep. That's damage I should have taken. I mean, I, I wish I hadn't taken it, but I understand why I took it. Monstro's fucking tooth. That's not what I needed right now. In case you're wondering how I feel about Monstro's tooth, I feel uh, about two middle fingers worth of it. No greed. Gotta get a humbling bundle. Gotta get the spirit heart. 
Stay away from me. It's like our eighth speed upgrade. So I guess we're, we're pretty much just gonna fight our boss. Yeah, yeah, lock in an eternal embrace. Perfect. We're pretty much just gonna fight our boss. Perfect. Uh, I really, really would love to get a deal with the devil after that mom fight. That's also pretty nice. We're gonna have to just keep our HP high enough to really, you know, make a deal with the devil after the boss fight. Something that appears viable to begin with, but it could happen. It's an unlucky bounce for me there. Our damage is better now, though. Oh, lemon party is pretty good, actually. Let's drop this down right in the center and then immediately throw some fire on top of it. It's pretty okay. It's a decent damage bonus for us, and yeah, mom's gonna keep falling for it. Lemon Party doesn't last as long as I would like it to, but it probably lasts longer than it should. <laughs> okay, oh, this is actually going pretty well. Too bad we don't have the blue candle, well, I mean, sorry. Too bad we don't have the blue candle glitch anymore, where um, we could just consistently shoot it at the walls and it would do damage. No spirit hearts, no spirit hearts. Not Guppy, Oh shit, I can't do it. I'm not confident enough right now. That's not gonna be the be all end all, the be all end all is if we don't get a guppy item on the next floor, and we don't get a good item. That's where shit starts to hit the fan, but I couldn't give up my HP for Pentagram. As much as I might have liked to. Uh, you know, we we were also lucky enough to be in a position where we didn't have to give up our HP for, for Pentagram, because we picked up the mark on the last floor, and also the, um, the curved horn pickup as our trinket. Keeps us, keeps us going here a little bit. Although, it does bring to mind that if we had maybe gone with Dark Bum instead of the Mark, with our Red Hearts, we possibly could have picked up... Our pills are so bad, what's the point? Joker? Two of Spades. Hmm, that's, that's okay. We picked up 17 keys on this room. The question is, you know, what are 17 keys worth in this economy right now? Not too much. Um, but if we had picked up uh, Dark Bum, would we have had enough HP to take the Pentagram there? Probably, and we would have Dark Bum, so we would probably be in a better situation. If I just thought about that one, especially considering we had Little Chad, I may well have come to the decision that uh, we should have gone Dark Bum instead, but I was so desperate for damage that um, I think that clouded my judgment somewhat. And that could end up being a very major mistake. It's the kind of mistake that's insidious, because we don't really, it's, it's going to be difficult for us to see the effects of that decision uh, as time goes on. You know, it's, it's like a butterfly effect type thing. I hope that this takes us closer to the boss. More than that, I hope we just get to, you know, more HP in the process here because we may well find ourselves coming up to a deal with the devil soon. And as of right now, the only deal with the devil I could conceivably take, 100%, no question, is nine lives. Beyond that, I, and I'm I'm saying that knowing full well, you know, it could be brimstone, could be could be a lot of things. Um, but beyond that, we could take a guppy item that is not nine lives. Nine lives is just a, a no-brainer pickup because we we get survivability and damage out of it. We we actually at this point definitely cannot take brimstone or mom's knife because they will 100% kill us. Um, we could take guppy's at this point if guppy's collar showed up, I would take it. I don't like that as much as anybody else, but you know, I, I do think that the 50% chance for what is basically a win or a chance at winning is probably better. Although we would only have one HP when we respawned. Still. Nine lives is the be all end all. If we can just get that in our in our shop here or in our uh, devil room here, all is forgiven. Oh, I fucking hate you. Thank you. Curse room. How interesting. Do we still have uh, X-ray vision? We didn't lose that because we became blue baby, right? We might have now that I think about it. How do you feel about this curse room? Kind of a who dares win situation here, huh? Well, it's not going to border it on that side. Help. Help. Ah. Help. <laughs> Send help. Uh, help. I think we're okay now. Help. There's lots of silkworms. Help. 
Surrounded by silkworms, help! <laughs> Seriously, it's terrifying. I'm not gonna hit the other note because I can't hit the other note. Ah, we do still have x-ray vision. I don't know, I was thinking like, you know, if you respawn from Azazel sometimes, you don't get the brimstone laser. Oh my fucking Christ. Lemon party. Okay, we got something. We could use telepills, I guess, try to get like an error room. Lemon party is probably more useful for a variety of purposes. Whoa. <sighs> this is, um, I mean, this is the sundering of the fellowship, right? Like, this is where we find ourselves either persevering, triumphing, or, you know, we find ourselves completely dying. One of the two. Let's do it. Double cage room. You know, it's something that you can probably bitch about, but I'm not going to bitch about because we're going to have to face this room a hundred times on the chest anyway, so if we're not strong enough to do it now, oh, shit then maybe we don't deserve to win. And I don't think we are going to win. How does the cage have so many attacks that are all super fucking annoying, right? Like, make up your mind. You want to be a rolly enemy? Be a rolly enemy. You want to be a jumpy enemy? Be a jumpy enemy. You want to be that bullshit enemy that, uh, you know, shoots out a homing fucking spikes from the ground? Be the bullshit enemy that shoots out a homing fucking spikes from the ground then. See if I care. Come on at me, big boy. Red candle! Oh, I missed it. And that could end up being important. I think we're safe. Don't jump again. Okay, well, I think we're gonna live long enough to maybe see our deal with the devil. No deal with the devil, just a speed upgrade. Alright! Play him off, keyboard cat! Nice meme, bro. Sorry. Well, let's let's focus on the positive. Never mind. Fuck everything. We lost. There goes the streak. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Don't play this seed.